plugins are essential in WordPress. They can enrich your website by adding features that are not being covered in the WordPress core, but having too much of them and your site speed will suffer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how this website improves its performance by 61% simply by removing the right plugins without really affecting the overall features and functionalities. All you need to do is apply these clever methods and at the end of the video, you will know what plugins to remove and what plugins to reduce. So let's get into it. For the first method, try to use external services instead of plugins. Basically, you can offload some plugins functionalities to external services so they don't have to consume resources from your server. For example, instead of using SiteKit, you could use Google Search Console or Google Analytics to get to know how much traffic coming to your website. Instead of using firewall plugins, you could just add your website to Cloudflare and enable firewall. And of course, you could always eliminate the need of image compression plugins by simply compressing the pictures before uploading them to your website. And of course, there are so many other examples. I couldn't give you all of them here, but try to see your plugin list and see which plugins could be replaced by external services. Next up, use plugins with multiple functionalities. This is actually one best practice that I have recommend on my previous video. Basically, there are so many WordPress plugins that can only do one thing and oftentimes their features or functionalities can be replaced by other larger plugins. For example, Rank My SEO plugin can eliminate the need of 301 redirects and affiliate link plugins because it has the same module so you don't have to install other two plugins. Also, you can use WP Optimize that works as a caching, image compression, and database cleanup plugin in one package. And of course, there's also a plugin like Admin and Site Enhancement that can remove dozens of smaller plugins and add some little features to WordPress. So consider removing single-purpose plugins and replacing them with more multi-purpose ones. It will reduce server load and make your site easier to manage. Next up, use plain HTML instead of plugins. Plain HTML is often a lot more economical compared to a fully dedicated plugin. You can literally remove thousands of lines of code by adopting this simple technique. One example will be the sharing buttons. This is a rather simple feature that can be built using HTML code. Just get the code here, insert the WordPress widget, and you are set. You can also add a contact form, image gallery, condom timer, ads, maps, and so much more with just basic HTML code. If you don't have the HTML code, just ask ChatGPT or Google to provide you with the code. Just make sure they are working. Next, use custom snippets instead of plugin. This one is kind of similar to the previous method, but basically with custom snippets, you can implement much more complex code to almost anywhere in your website. For example, instead of using Add Inserter to insert Google AdSense code, you can use the Code Snippets plugin to achieve the same. Want to put website in maintenance mode? Just put this code to function with PHP via Code Snippets and you're set. Conveniently, they also provided a website where you can search for snippets that you might want to use for your website. Just a few lines of code will get you the result that is more or less the same as installing a dedicated plugin. And my favorite thing about this plugin is that if your code breaks your website, it will revert everything back to normal. So it's almost zero risk and it will make your website a lot easier to manage. Moving on, the next point is something that I think a lot of WordPress users are still reluctant to do, which is just using the basic WordPress crawl features. I understand that most people installing plugins simply because the features they wanted are not covered or being supported in WordPress. For example, the AVIP image format was supported in WordPress until literally a few weeks ago. This forces some users to use third-party plugins to bridge the gap. But WordPress is still improving and some plugins started to feel unnecessary because the core is just good enough. Do you want to upload custom fonts? WordPress has it. Need a page builder? You can skip Elementor and use Gutenberg. Looking for free stock photos? Go ahead and launch OpenVerse. Admittedly, WordPress core is not perfect. It certainly has some limitations, but as a wise man said, limitations foster creativity. I have been building and using WordPress with this mindset and everything is fine, maybe even better. Less plugins to manage, fewer compatibility issues, and a faster website overall. This is certainly one step to boost performance, but there are more steps that you could take. 
So check out my ultimate list of 23 best practices to make any WordPress website blessing fast. And I'll see you in that video.